What's up guys, I'm Eric on the Ravens Fan 516. I have a uh, one package mail day in today from a YouTuber. Um, I got a little special guest joining me. Actually, she watches me film most of my videos, but I never really put her on camera before. She's actually knocked over the camera a couple of times. But if you can see, this is Amber. If you can see, purple collar. She's a pretty big Ravens fan too. Can't really see it. She's getting her neck fats covering up. There you go, you can kind of see some of the purple there. So that's the cat. It's funny, she always just sits on the bed and watches me shoot videos. When she hears the camera turn on, she just runs in the room. Um, also got a little First 48 going on in the background. If you guys were in uh, VZ's blog room the other night, we were talking about this show. And VZ, if you're watching, uh, show's on till 9 o'clock tonight on A&E. It's usually played on Thursdays. So, And uh, if you guys remember my little, my little hint on that, if uh, you see the cops interviewing a guy and his face isn't blurred out, that's probably the guy that did it. Don't mean to ruin it for you. That was a little spoiler alert. Um, package I got in was from Cobra Ten SVT David. Contacted me a few days ago. Said his uh, he saw a card at his LCS that he thought I'd be interested in, and he said he would get it for me if I just uh, reimbursed him later on, which was awesome. I really appreciate that. Um, we were able to talk the shop owner down a little bit. The card is a beauty. I already opened the package just because I couldn't uh, I couldn't resist myself, so I've already seen it. Um, David sent along a couple extras, which I always appreciate. Really nice cards for the um, for the insert PC. The first card is this Anquan Bolden from Totally Certified. I didn't bust any of this product this year. Um, boxes look really hit or miss, but the cards are beautiful. I love that like fan design in the background. Looks really cool, and that's a beautiful card. Second card is this uh, Ray Rice insert from 2010 Panini Threads, and that is number 246 out of 250. And the last uh, extra that he included was this uh, Jimmy Smith rookie card die cut the blue version the rookie aspirations from 2010 Donruss Elite and that is numbered 63 of 97 really odd numbering on that um, but none, nonetheless a really nice uh, addition to my insert PC uh, so David I really appreciate those completely unnecessary but always appreciated I think I forgot to read the note so I'll, I'll read it now it says Eric hope you like uh, this card the extras are not much but enjoy those as well I will try and work on that one on one for you David and there is uh, apparently there's a printing plate one of one at the, the store he goes to as well that would fit pretty nicely in my PC I can't afford it right now but I would like to get it eventually so David I'll get back to you on that one but this card it, I've been wanting one of these for a while uh, they got some really nice patches in this set, and this is this is pretty cool. Uh, you don't find uh, these all that often. Card is Joe Flacco. Where is it from? Oh, it's from Playoff National Treasures. No big deal. And uh, what's the patch look like? Oh, uh, it's just a laundry tag. You know, no real big deal. Just whatever. Joe Flacco. Unibrow. Laundry tag. Kitty cat. That's what's up beautiful card this card is amazing looking in person I love the design of National Treasures from this year I was never able to afford it uh, when it came out because at the time I was still in college and most of my money was going toward beer and Chinese food so I didn't have any of these uh, I, I wasn't able to afford anything like this um, great numbering 7 out of 10 just a beautiful card David thank you so much man I really appreciate you contacting me David's a really cool guy. I'm going to put his link in the description box. He's contacted me multiple times about cards he's seen that he think that he thinks I would like. One of them was a uh, Torrey Smith Super Fractor patch from, what the hell was it from? Finest, I think. It was a beautiful card, but it just got way out of my price range. But he is always on the lookout for other people. Good guy. Make sure you give him a sub. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.